Wait, wouldn't aim assist be on if you play on easy? And it would be off if you play on hard? I'll just... Oh! I'd rather not have that you help me aim. I am playing with a mouse. I know how to aim. Is that... Is... is I'm sorry to say, but that was a really ugly first menu. This is much prettier. What they just showed was the very first thing I ever saw of Mafia 3. This is much prettier. They should have just gone with one of these pictures. No, nah, well, whatever. Hi. See, this is this is nice. This is nice art. Um, hi. Welcome to Mafia 3. I've been meaning to play this ever since it came out, like a week ago or something. Mafia 3 takes place in a fictionalized version of the American South in 1668. We saw the great and authentic immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including the racism. We find the racist belief, language, and behavior of some characters in the game abhorrent, but believe it is vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. And some more shit. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. That introduction was really well made and cool. So compared to mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until. 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Hmm.
Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, Skeletta. Peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. <laughs> is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Are we... Uh, okay. Oh, we finally started. And this is what the graphics look like. Could be worse. Could be better, I guess. Um... Oh my. That's quite the map. I guess. Right, interesting. Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Well, I need to do an intro and stuff. Ooh, airport. Anyway, I played Mafia 2. Uh, greatly enjoyed it. Really great game. Eventually I heard Mafia 3 was coming out. And now I've heard, after it's been out for a little while, that people were like, what the fuck went wrong? Um, a lot of people seem to dislike it. I don't know. I want to see for myself. Um, the intro was cool. Like the very beginning looked like just the the opening menu looked like a game from the nineties or something. That's uh, kind of weird, but um, not that that fucking matters. Uh, but I I had shit to say, but I lost it. No, well, whatever. Let's just play, I guess. Oh yeah, I hope the, uh, it looked like when I started the recording that you see it fine and full screen. Shut the fuck up. Um, the way I see it, there's some black bars at the bottom and on the right side. Because when I started out, it told me to adjust the rectangle and blah 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 so it fitted my display. But it didn't. It, I had black bars, so I, I, uh, it's weird. Is there a whoa oh collection do they have more like porn they got porn pictures you can find uh, like pinup girls or whatever it's called old school porn that was a weird thing in Mafia 2 anyway display display settings Brightness resolution. Oh, there we go. That's why. Yeah. Can we just, for fuck's sake, how many are there? Keep going to the. Set. We'll get there eventually, guys. Don't worry. Eh. There we go. Any better? Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with it. It's still fucking up. It's actually, this looks better. This looks more, uh, hmm. well, I'll keep it at this. It's still the, the borders. Uh, this is something I should not let you guys watch and stuff. I'm sure this is fine. I don't know too much about this. I saw something about, something about full screen. It's not really full screen though. There's, I thought I saw something about, about, about Screen bars. See, this is what I can change. The thing is, it goes out of the screen for me. Increase width, right? Increase, decrease. Yeah. But this is not, this doesn't change. I want it to move because it's not fitted to my screen. It's going out of the screen. And that's retarded. Well, I, I guess we'll, we'll just have to do... Add, fuck it, whatever. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it as it is. It's all good. I think it looked good on the recording, so whatever. This is not a nice way to start a new game. I apologize. But we're, we're started now. With lack. Um, keys? Could you not lack, please? I'm trying to do a nice playthrough here. 
another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. I will. Still not sure about leaving him like this. We came through mm -hmm. with the truck just like mm -hmm. we asked. Mm -hmm. The greasiest part of making it look good. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. dots? Why well, take the chance? So it looks like this is one of those games that like to be laggy. This is something I will have to try and fix. Uh, can you drop this guy again? Are you gonna keep being laggy? Or is it, yeah, it looks like you are. Oh boy. I will close some things. Alright. I close my browser. Maybe that helps. I know if I run GTA and I have my browser open in the background, that will make GTA lack. As soon as I close it, it's all good. Um. Uh, so far, so good. It looks like it might have helped. We should get going. You got the keys, so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Also, I could see in the recording that the uh, you don't have the black bars and stuff, so it, it looks fine. It's just me who sees. It's not. Wait, is it fitted now? I think it fits now. Like pretty much. Okay, that's good. Come on, Link, we burn yeah, shut up, eye. cunt! I'll shoot you in the face. I don't think I can, but make sure that bottle. I did. I don't know why. I'm running. Place, we should get moving. Okay. But so there's an al there's an alligator. Just alligator. <laughs> Jesus Christ is actually gonna oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi That's a way to start the game. Get eaten by a fucking alligator. I have to see if I could do that. Anyway, I mean, this is cool art, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm sorry for saying. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll clear you this again. Anyway, I, I will, since I'm guessing this is an open sandbox, whatever Still game. Not sure about leaving him like this. You want to bring this guy to the alligator? We should get going. You, you want to burn him? So Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I think you want to do this. Huh. See, good thing I just found out about the freaking alligator. I would have never thought about doing this. Throw. Here you go. Get it, boy. You get, get it, boy. True. I know, right? We want to get the other guy, too. Do we care about him? Like, I don't want to be bad and all, but... Oh, I'm, I keep clicking R instead of Y. I don't know if... See, the weird thing is, I never play as the bad guy, and I feel like that's a really bad guy I like to just kill this motherfucker. I that motherfucker already. I'm working on it, you cunt. But I am a mafioso, so whatever. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Can I drive? You gonna get in, you bastard? Can I get in? See, now I have a choice to make. I actually never changed the audio. Oh, is that song, huh?
I have a choice to make. Do I want to keep the music on, which is copyrighted, and just not make any money on this? Or, I mean, already this video is going to be copyrighted. Uh, ah, I should not have it on. It's better. It can give you trouble if you have all Take kinds of... We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us that to keep one of the guards driving. alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over at Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone. And I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Well, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical... <laughs> what the Ooh, fuck is going up. on? She's got a baby in one hand. Jesus Christ. A pig in the other. Whatever. She starts up the ramp. And the MP stops and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid. Starts screaming at the woman. Wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you ask. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. See, a thing I hate is when games ugh, automatically, if I want to look back for a while, nope. It's like, I have to keep moving it if I want to look back. I gotta do this in order to... Just let me, and if... Don't, don't put it back this quickly. Just give me a couple seconds. Anyway, since this is an open... Open world... Sandbox game. I wanted to say this, but I guess I forgot. I don't know. I keep forgetting shit that I'm trying to say. I will edit this video a bit more. Um... I'm not going to drive around too much, I'm just going to do missions and record that. Whenever there's conversations and stuff, I'll show that, otherwise I'll cut most shit out of the video. Dodge at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. When I'm driving in new places that you haven't seen or there's something interesting, I'll show that. Otherwise, if I'm just driving at places that... that he's worth that you've already seen. I'm not gonna bother putting that in the video, of course. I'll just cut it out. Otherwise, this is gonna be a really long playthrough. You wanna park or, or okay. Back it up to the loading dock. Baby love, my Somebody baby love. Somebody's might get a little uh, rough with the language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Would I be allowed to say that word if they do it a bunch in this game, and I'm just playing this game instead? I have to clicky. I'm not gonna do it. But that's when we make our move. All right. About being hot. Would I, if I want to walk, can I walk? I can run faster. I don't think I, uh, you can stop now. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around the goddamn toilet. 
Sure. Am I going first? I think you tried to close the door, but I was there, so you closed it in on me. I saw the you door move. Me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Bringing this to the burn room. We gonna burn money or whatever the face. I don't know. Whatever. Baby love my baby. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Sure. Fine rooms down in the cellar. This way. Okay. Been all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals for out of his ass. Away from me, man. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard of it. I'm looking at all this stuff. When a God-fearing white man can't get a job, that young nigga who staggers in is high on the spot. What are you looking at? Okay. <laughs> better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much go. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. That doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Dallas. Am I supposed to? Okay. It's because I'm standing in the way of you guys or what? There's some weird, weird shit going on there, but okay. Here we are. Where am I supposed to stand? Here? Here? Oh, oh, okay. Put those bags on the table there. On the table there. Okay, I'll put them on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose, wash all the shit off the walls. Talk about being hot. Come on. Did he say anything about being hot? I guess he did. Okay. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> Can I? Okay, good. <laughs> Takes money. In the pocket. Okay. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what the fuck you're doing. Can I take this? I don't know what that is. Okay. You got. Oh, look. That's a lot of money. Can I hike, uh, like, like, Q, you punch on Q. Well, you also do takedowns on, I guess you just, oh, you do take cover. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and 
they go over there at night and play cards. <laughs> Told John when they moved in, I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. They see that, they start Can I grab you? Can I grab you? Oh, jeez. That actually worked. Weapon. Weapons menu. Hold mouse middle. Quick swap. Press PGDN. PGDN. P PGDN. The 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 I don't know what that is. Whoop. Yeah, this is how all games like to do it now. Proper GTA style. Except GTA is probably not the ones who started it, but... I'll go with a pistol for now. Let's go, man. Yeah, let's fucking go, go, man. Like, I'm not doing shit. You're doing everything, but let's go, man. I'm such in a hurry. Then open the... Uh, what are we doing, man? I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. It's pretty cool cutscenes, though. Well, it's like I'm painting, huh? We just walked by so much money. Hell yeah, Franklin, let's do this. Oh wait, this is not GTA. Ha ha ha. See, there's all these gold bars and all the money we walk by, and you say holy shit to a couple more money in there. The fuck is this gun? Sounds like a fucking BB gun, man. Die, you cunt. Huh? Ow. Ow. Hey, you shooting at me, you cunt? Yeah, bitch. What the fuck you want? You can set aimuses to low, high, or turn it off. Yeah, I already did. I didn't want that shit on. I'm playing with a mouse. I know how to fucking aim. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that thing, do you think? Thing. Give me that, 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 that. Oh no. Step one: expose the lock. Move the mouse until the cursor is in the green zone. Then press mouse left. Uh, pull the lock. Press E when the indicator is in the green zone. Uh. Oh. 
Okay, that's a Billy symbol. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Eh. Oh, is that how you mean the quick change? You gotta roll the little mail, mail, mail mouse button. Nom nom and some stuff. We got full health. Where's my health? Is that over the map there? I guess so. Whatever. Okay. I'm ready. Let's get fucked up. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over now. A little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Hell yeah, I will. Sammy had men all over the place. What? Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You can't just cut away from it. But then it's gonna resume later when this is actually one of the last heists that you're gonna do. And so we're gonna start with it. And then you're gonna, whatever. That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't. They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Being out, this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Don't do that shit. drink and drive press tab to open the map even rims then press mouse left left mouse button why why you mouse left whatever as your destination so I was you press left mouse button select oh drive is set Oh. Set waypoint. Objectives. I think I get it. Some. Whoa. Well, you just fucking scroll out. You can see it somewhere. Hey, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I won't cut out the driving right now, because. Hey. So Sammy's doing alright. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Well, at least it's running fine after I close my browser, so that's good.
What's that blue shit? Is that a is that a police car? Ugh. I I guess I can see what they meant. I heard some people talk about how uh, it's a bad police awareness. Police will attack if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, break traffic laws. Ah, oh, I gotta drive properly. I say sure. Free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he'd keep his old man from fighting out. That. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's a cop car. Good thing it didn't give a shit. I'm used to playing freaking. I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. GTA. Maybe man. double dated. Who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great aunt Beatrice? Oh God! <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. Nice. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna wanna dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have you got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's smoking hot. Okay. <laughs> we here? I click E. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you to back up. I think I was saying something until you interrupted me, but I forgot what I was saying, so. I send you to bring Link on Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Can you believe me? Cheers. Is that on Beatrice? Nice seeing you, Lee. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. Now, who wants to get shit faced? Woo! 
Shit faced. Was that a turn back then? Elation. Fear. Heal. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as he left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. <laughs> you are a big dude, aren't you? You look a little bit like, uh... Well, you kind of look a little bit like the last guy. Except another color, of course, but... Yeah, whatever. So you'll be crashing down here from now on, eh? Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. I, I get it. I don't really get it, but... Then again, I, I get it. Fucking sleep. Hey. Ha! <laughs> you don't get to see that, you motherfuckers. Cause I can't show that, cause this is YouTube. I'm gonna have to look at all the porn on my own. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh my, another one. Starting out strong. Uh, uh, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have to end it here. I'm not gonna check out the collection and stuff. Uh, okay, bye. That's a joke. I am actually gonna end it here, though. But I'm gonna keep playing. And you're gonna see another video tomorrow or something. Well, I up, I up record it, and then I'm gonna upload it tomorrow. But then I'm also gonna... Yeah, it's weird, but I'm gonna sleep. I'll see you guys. Um, yeah.